Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be installing Apache Spark. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open up our web browser. Okay, and now we need to search for the Apache Spark downloads page. So let's type in Apache Spark download. Okay, let's click on the first link where it says spark.apache.org downloads okay so now we need to select the version of spark that we will download and that we will use we will be using version 3 right the preview one the next thing that we will do is we will select the package which will be the build for Hadoop 2.7 once we have selected the Spark release and the package, we can now click on the link. So this is the link that we want, Spark 3 for Hadoop version 2.7. Okay, so once we are directed to this page, we will be clicking on this link here that says, we suggest the following mirror. So let's download that one. Okay, so I'll cancel mine because mine is already downloaded. So I'll just cancel that. This might take some time to download, but once the file has been downloaded, we should locate it in our downloads folder. Okay, so you will see here is mine. So it will be a zip file. So I just right click and then I use 7-zip. Or you can use whichever um, compression tool you want to unzip the file. So I just use 7-zip. Um, and then I unzip the file. So I got this folder. So now I click in the folder and then you will get another file, which is the .tar file. Okay, so you right click and then you extract here or extract file, sorry. And once you have done that, you will be um, given the folder over here. So double click that and then we get to the folder. Double click that until we get to the bin files. OK, so this is what we want. So if we go one directory back, right, we will have the folder. So we want this folder. We only want one folder. We don't want to nest. A couple of folders and then eventually get to our files we just want this one folder and if we double click on it we get all of the files that we need so let's copy this folder okay and then we go to the C drive okay so the next thing that we need to do now is we need to create a spark folder so we will right click new folder and then we can name that spark Okay, and then let's enter that folder and now let us paste the file there or the folder that we downloaded. Okay, so it might take some time. It's quite a big file. Okay, so once the file has been pasted, we can double click and see if we have it here. Okay, that's correct. So we have Spark. We double click in Spark and then we have the Spark file. And then we double click on that folder and then we have all the files that we need. So that is the path to these files. It will be Spark C, Spark backslash Spark 3.0 preview and then backslash we get into this folder over here and specifically the bin folder right that is what we want okay so once we have done that the next thing that we need to now do is we need to create environment variables right so that we can um, run spark inside of our cmd so let us open up the start menu and then type in computer and then go to properties and then click on advanced system settings 
then you will be presented with this dialog click on environment variables okay so in user variables we are going to add a new variable so click on new and then the name of the variable will be called spark home and then the variable value we can search for browse directory and then we go to PC and then we go to C and then we go to spark okay and then we just click on this folder right which is where our files are located at just the folder not the bin folder so this is our folder that we want and then click OK okay so this is the part that we are looking for C spark and then the spark folder click OK okay that's our spark home and now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a path for our spark files so in path we click on edit and now click at the bottom we are going to add a new path okay and then we are going to call this path spark home as well but before that we enter a percentage symbol and then spark underscore home percentage symbol and then backslash bin okay so by doing this we will then be able to run all of the spark applications inside of our cmd without having to specify the bin folder of um, our spark files okay so that's what we need to do here we can press okay okay and now now that we have configured our spark home we need to now configure our hadoop home okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to download a file called win utils okay that is the file that is needed to run hadoop in windows so let's open a new tab okay so i've got the link to the file but let's type it out it's not that complicated so it's https github.com forward slash steve L O U G H R A N forward slash win utils. Okay, which leads us to the GitHub repository. Okay, that we need, and then we click on win utils. Okay, sorry, we are already here, and then we are going to select Hadoop version 2.7.1 okay and then we click on bin and then we are going to look for the winutils.exe file which is this one select that okay and now click on download to download the file Okay, so I already have mine downloaded. Right, so now let us open up our downloads folder to locate the winutils.exe file. So I do have the link that will take us straight to this page. I'll just copy and paste it um, as a resource in the lessons. So you don't have to worry about uh, typing out the whole address. Okay, so let us go to downloads okay so here is my winutils.exe file so copy that right click copy and then let's go to the c drive again we double click on spark in the spark folder and then in bin 
right we double click that and then we paste the win util files inside here okay so that's all we need to do and now the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to add a environment variable for Hadoop so let's go back to this dialog here and let us add a new user variable so we are going to call that user variable Hadoop home okay and then we browse for the directory which is this PC C so we locate our spark folder and then we click on the spark folder inside that and then click on OK so this is how the path should look like C spark and then the spark folder click on OK once we have that the next thing that we need to do now is we need to add a path for Hadoop so select path edit and then at the bottom we want to add a new path and then we are going to do what we did before which is similar to the spark home path which is the percentage symbol hadoop underscore home percentage symbol backslash bin okay once we have that we click okay okay so that is all we need to do to install Apache Spark on Windows. So click on OK and then click on OK. OK, so that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.